Cargo Lambda allows you to install a framework that interacts with AWS Lambda ecosystem from a terminal, and it makes it very straightforward to run, build, and deploy these functions on AWS Lambda natively, and you don't need a container or a VM. So in many ways, this is a, a superior way to interacting with Lambda than scripting languages. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what happens here. So first up, you're gonna need to install Cargo Lambda. Now, in my opinion, I think the entire Python ecosystem is an older ecosystem that is not the future. So I prefer to use other ways to install software. So if I click on install Cargo Lambda, you can see that Homebrew is actually pretty straightforward. It works on both OS 10 and Linux. You can do a brew install, it works flawlessly. This is what I've uh, standardized on. There also is Scoop for Windows. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm not a fan of the Python ecosystem for packaging. Docker is also a very good choice, or Nix is also a very good choice. Uh, you can you can do a uh, binary release as well. So this is also pretty good is to just uh, pull down the binary and do it. Or you can also go through here and just run it directly from source. So really the power here of Cargo is what I would uh, encourage people to look into is Cargo is a modern package manager that is uh, embedded with Rust itself. So why not leverage that ecosystem to uh, install, let's say, a binary or homebrew or, or whatever system you want to use. I, I would focus on those types of, of tools. Next up here, we have getting started. If we take a look at what happens here is that all you need to do is say cargo lambda new and then uh, create a project that has a name and then CD into the project. So this directory structure that's created for you is part of some of the power of this Cargo Lambda ecosystem. Cargo itself is the package manager for Rust, and what's powerful about it is that it gives you a folder structure that has everything you need from package management to your uh, default code and the uh, compiler linter. All that stuff is built in there for you. So you can leverage that and then get started by doing Cargo Lambda Watch, and then immediately you can just start writing code uh, and, and this is, again, one of the more powerful components of why Cargo Lambda is, is a great tool to use. And then if you want to test it, you just do Cargo Lambda Invoke right here, and you just pass in a JSON payload. You also have the ability to work with uh, web frameworks as well. So let's, this is more of a function-based approach uh, where you're just interacting directly with a function. But if you wanted to expose a microservice that has a... Uh, HTTP interface to it, you absolutely can do that as well. And then this will also allow you to uh, make requests to it. Now, potentially the easiest way to deploy to Lambda from any language is to use Cargo Lambda build release. And in fact, you can also build releases for ARM64 to save you know, quite a bit of money. And this comes in handy for data engineering. And then finally, you just do Cargo Lambda deploy. So very straightforward to get started with this. You can also do verbose to uh, look at subcommands, uh, enable tracing. You can enable uh, uh, also rust underscore log equals cargo underscore lambda equals trace to, to get very verbose uh, instrumentation as well. And if you wanted to use systems like GitHub Actions to release it, you can see an example here or CDK. Uh, I lean a little bit more towards using pure AWS tools uh, because I don't know what's happening with venture capital and what new service is going to be bought by another company, etc. So I prefer to just uh, use the AWS SDK support directly with whatever tool I'm using. So in this case, you also can see the, the constructs for the uh, SDK. So in a nutshell here, this is probably the easiest way to do any type of development on AWS Lambda, including with scripting languages, because of the robust ecosystem built around Cargo and extended with Cargo Lambda.